Showtime at the Apollo. Please welcome Joseph James. Yeah. Hey, thanks for coming out, guys. You guys drinking? Yeah. yeah. I'm drinking. I uh, one of my friends made fun of me because uh, I drink Budweiser and Coors Light, but he was drinking Corona. I was like, that's not a fancy beer. Corona's just Budweiser poured through Mexican people's underpants. <laughs> really, I don't see what the big deal is. I had uh. I had an issue recently. I had an issue recently with a heckler. I was doing, I was doing comedy at a bar, and it wasn't. This guy wasn't even giving me a chance to finish jokes in the middle of a sentence. He'd be like, "You suck! You suck!" <laughs> and I was like, "Just let me finish." Like, Dad, it's nice of you to come. <laughs> it's nice of you to come and support what I'm doing, but at least let me finish the joke before you judge it. Is all I'm saying. This is actually cool because I haven't performed in a re for a real audience in a while. I've just been doing shows in my basement, talking into a hairbrush for my stuffed animals. <laughs> you guys are much better. You guys are awesome. You guys with this tables looking at me. Like, this guy must fuck so much more fat chicks than Jenny Craig. But it's true. Don't let the ladies fool you. I do look like a pregnant woman naked. So, you know, I found out recently that I wasn't just physically fat, that I was mentally fat. You know how I figured this out, sir? I caught myself giving directions using fast food places as landmarks. Like, go down to McDonald's's, make a left at the Taco Bell. You know you have a fast food problem when you show you showed up at Dave Thomas's funeral, that's all I'm saying. A <laughs> little too much into it. Now, actually, I don't eat Wendy's anymore because they changed their slogan after he died to a little bit of Dave in each burger. <laughs> too, too tacky for me. But I'm a garbage man as my day job. And uh, anybody from Brooklyn? Yeah. I sweep the streets in Brooklyn a lot. It's cool. I love Brooklyn because the way the neighborhoods change from block to block. Like, I can go from sweeping up yarmulkes and dreidels on one corner. <laughs> I cross the street and I'm sweeping up chicken bones and weaves. You <laughs> learn a lot about people's cultures by picking up their garbage, is what I'm saying. So, I'm driving the garbage truck down the street in Brooklyn a couple days ago, and these three cops just pulled over right in front of me and triple parked and ran in a house, did cop things. I, now I can't go anywhere. I'm backing up rush hour traffic for blocks and blocks. This lady frantically runs out of her vehicle and runs up to me, and she's like, Sir, could you please make the cops move? I'm driving a special ed bus, and the kids are going to be late for school. I was like, first of all, lady, I'm a garbage man. I can't make the cops do anything. <laughs> Second of all, it doesn't matter what time these kids get to school. It's already too late. <laughs> they're retarded. <laughs> so... You know what I hate? <laughs> guys, I don't want to kill this guy. I'm talking to him and not laughing as much. You know what I hate the most about driving a garbage truck? No vanity mirrors. This guy's looking at me like, what is this lesbian talking about? <laughs> so I know, you're looking at me with the nail polish, you want to run up on stage and gay bash me. I'm actually straight. I just wear it so that when I'm jerking off, it looks like a girl's doing it. <laughs> It's, it's working out, too. I don't know, sometimes I think I am gay, though. Because this one time in college, I went down on a girl with a four-inch clit. Does that make you gay? I don't know. I know, I have, I realized I had to do comedy because of my hair. I have hair that only does wacky things. I, in this recession, I saved money on haircuts by shaving my own head. Like, if you had this hair, would you spend money on it? No. I figure the average guy spends about twenty dollars a month on haircuts. There's five hundred and twenty weeks in a year. That's like eleven thousand dollars a year I save on haircuts. In this recession, in this recession, how many times could you fart in a pair of jeans before you really have to wash them? Is what I'm trying to ask. You. What I want to know. I don't know. A lot of a lot of chicks think I'm into bondage and SM, but I'm really not. 
Like, I was in bed with this girl the other night, and she was like, hurt me, hurt me. I didn't know what to do, so I popped out her clip with a hole puncher. Oh. <laughs> it hurt her, but I don't think that's what she was, she was into. You gotta be careful, sir, if, if you're choking a chick, because she can't say the safe word, unless the safe word is, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I wasn't in bed with a girl. I haven't gotten laid in so long, my dick hole is shaped like a frown right now. Oh. I, had a, I had a girl a while back, but uh, we used to fight all the time. She called me immature. You believe a girl would call me immature? I threw her right out of the race car bed. <laughs> like, no, you can't sleep with a Spider-Man blanket in your poopy head. <laughs> call me immature. So, I was at the strip club the other night. I was talking to the stripper, and by talking to, I mean she was giving me a lap dance and rubbed my balls. <laughs> so, being a garbage man, I'm really good at identifying smells. So I was getting this vibe off her, like, she just smoked a cigarette, and someone put it out by pissing on her. She's <laughs> a nice girl. I don't want to keep doing little garbage man jokes, though. I'll do something for everybody. You know when you take off your fishnet shirt too fast and it gets caught in your lip ring? Doesn't that suck? You have that problem, sir? I don't know. <laughs> oh. So yeah, this is a weird night. It's kind of like the time I went to Universal Studios. And I got stuck on the Philadelphia ride. I had to watch Tom Hanks get AIDS for three hours. <laughs> Why did you have a ride for that movie? <laughs> I went back to my hotel room. And that was, that was the night that I did crystal meth and jerked off until I had a skeleton penis. Oh, bad decision. So, the worst part about being single is when your 70 year old aunt is giving you dating advice. Like, she was trying to set me up. With, I'm like, Yo, what am I going to do with dating advice from, from the 1950s? I'll wake up, get a, go through a time machine, wake up at a sock hop. Trying to pick up chicks. So she's trying to get me to go out. This girl is a cop. And I was like, I can't date a cop. I have to quit my side job as a heroin mule. <laughs> so I figure if that doesn't work out, the garbage man thing and the comedy thing doesn't work out, I'm going to go back to my original dream job Sweet 16 DJ. <laughs> That's what I'm going to try to do. Yes. You guys like impressions? You guys have to decide whether this impression is Godzilla talking to Mothra or Kathy Griffin. Godzilla or Kathy Griffin. Godzilla talking to Mothra or Kathy Griffin at the People's Choice Awards. Oh. So, do you ever have one of those days where you can't stop peeing yeah. out your ass? <laughs> I was running late. I was running late trying to get here tonight, so I only had time to shave one of my balls. I guess get giggling at the shaved ball, or the unshaven ball. I didn't come here tonight to New York Comedy Club to talk about my balls, people. My dick. When it's not hard, it looks like a little mushroom sitting in a beanbag chair. Yeah. Enough about my dick. My ass. Now, uh, I gotta go actually, guys. It's great talking to you guys about my balls and my dick. Have a good night. Joseph <laughs> James, everyone, and his balls and dick. Or dicks and balls.